Simmers, I am Furby Furbs, and I am remodeling 17 Cold Pepper House. Uh, it's the apartment in city living, and right now I just got to do a walkthrough of the original floor plan. As you can see, it's really bare and ugly. I did not use any money cheats at all, uh, or any custom content in this. At the end, I will show you how you can get the whole apartment as one unit instead of room by room. So I'm just doing a little aerial tour of the apartment itself um, so now we're gonna go into the bedroom and as you can see it's really bare and plain again I didn't use money cheat so I was limited with the money so it's not gonna be fully loaded but it's gonna be nice uh, for starting out as a sim player so um, it's not gonna be really poor looking but it's not gonna be super fancy rich either so we just go into the bathroom right now just kinda see how small and condensed it is and we're just gonna go ahead and uh, Turn around and head back to the living room. Uh, once we get back to the kitchen, uh, the speed build will begin. And you'll see how I remodeled this apartment. So here we go. I'm selling all the furniture to get a little extra cash. Um, so the idea came with me for the bedroom. I used to have a studio apartment and the bedroom was the way I'm doing it now. It had a half wall and then it had you know curtains and it had no door. Obviously, I don't have the bathroom inside the uh, bedroom with... Uh, closet like my original apartment did but uh, I also lived in a loft at one point and the inside was a brick because it was a refurbished factory so I wanted to get that look for any wall that was going to be on the outside that way I can you know kind of make it look like it's still part of the original building but then of course have the drywall you know uh, different colors so here we go I uh, got like my accent walls and uh, then I'm going to go and paint it a little beige color so I'm just checking, trying to get a carpet that matches. That's not going to be too powerful with the blue or the beige. Um, now I think I believe I end up changing the top. Yeah, I did change the top part to blue. Uh, and then, of course, I put the pillars there. Um, kind of give it a little look. I did a half wall to separate the dining room with the living room. And working on a size on how that's going to look. Uh, so I wanted to get these little divider things uh, to kind of match it. Because uh, I didn't just want a wall. I wanted something to kind of give it some uh, look. So then I'm changing the bathroom, uh, the floor, and then the wall. I'm going to go and uh, take the appliances out. I'm going to change those as well. I tried to get a tub in there, but it didn't really work out. So I went ahead and put the shower back in there. I did use move objects on on some of the items, like the uh, third pillar by the bathroom uh, door. But uh, for the most part, I try not to use that. If at all possible, but I have to use it, or I've had to use it in some of the, with some of the uh, adding of the furniture. So uh, here we go. Now we're going to go ahead and go to the bedroom. I went ahead and got a double bed. And then I've got blue. Got a little nightstand. Uh, took the lights out. And then uh, here I added the, like, the candlesticks. Um, and then I added these lights. I like actually liked the way they looked. Had to use move objects on for that one. Then on this wall, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with it. Um, I was thinking maybe putting a desk there and a the computer, but I was like, no, nah, I'll do that in a living room. So I added the dresser there, and then I uh, wanted to add, you know, some curtains. So it looks like you can get privacy when you want. So if you have guests over, they don't look directly into the bedroom. But I kind of do like this because it does give it an open feel. You know, it does make it look a little bit bigger. Uh, but I didn't change the size of the room at all. And then here I'm just trying to figure out, you know, Looking at all the new pictures with this uh, expansion pack and just trying to get an idea of what I want to do. I enlarged that one. Uh, I actually think it goes great with the color. I uh, added the clock on the top there. Just pay attention to that because when I show you how to save the whole uh, apartment as one, the clock will get deleted. Um, but here I'm adding the dining room table. Uh, seats too. Um, I was trying to see if I could put something on the edge of the half wall but was not able to do so. Uh, and also later I did this but not in this video but on those two pillars you can actually the the thing I did for the window half uh, wall on the bedroom you can do that for the two pillars there too if you like it actually looked good I just didn't do it in this video I just did it afterwards uh, here I'm just getting some uh, accessories for the kitchen just trying to get it to look a little homey but not trying to get too much stuff because like I said you know I didn't add any money sheets and I don't want it to be too expensive this is going to be a starting out apartment uh, and there we go, got a little table there for some decoration. This is now I'm going to get the curtains in. Uh, I do like the new curtains. Uh, they fit great. Uh, the smaller windows, I had a little difficulty, as you can tell. 
but uh, I think I did pretty good trying to pick something that matched. All right, here since we're on a budget, I'm gonna go ahead and um, get the coffee table, and I enlarged a small TV, so uh, I like that cheat where you just push the button and you know make it bigger, so you don't have to actually buy the big TV. You can just make your cheap one bigger. Okay, here's where we're gonna add the computer desk. Uh, I was thinking of also putting it on the other half wall, but I thought that might be too much. So I put it over there, and of course, uh, you know, I got a small computer. I had to sell some stuff because I was running out of money. Here we're going into the tour of the actual apartment. Uh, this is the after. Uh, again, like I said, it's not going to be too fancy because I didn't want to be too expensive, but I didn't want it to look really, like, poor either. So I um, hope you do like this, and again, I mean... Always, you can always change it to any way you like. I do have this uploaded in the gallery. And after we get done with this little tour, like I said, I'll show you how to save the whole apartment as one, which I got from a, a simscommunity.info website. Um, so we're turning around, there's the kitchen. And then we're going to be turning around into the bedroom. See that clock is still on the wall there. It will disappear. But that's what the bedroom is going to look like. So kind of gives you the open feel. And, you know, have no door, but that's fine. You can just walk right through, uh, which I go through the wall. And then there's the bedroom, which, you know, I really think that turned out good. And I think um, you simmers, creative simmers can actually do stuff. Uh, I usually do uh, custom content after I upload to the gallery. I never like to um, upload custom content into the gallery because, you know, you get them from different sites and not everyone uses custom content. So, my upload's not going to have uh, custom content, but when I actually play this apartment, I will be adding some in there. So we're going to walk back out into the living room just to kind of get another view. So, like I said, once your sim starts making money, you can do So here, this is how you save it. So we're going to take out the wall in the bathroom, and then we're going to take out one of the half walls. The reason why I did the half wall um, is because if I did the door, then I have to redo the whole banner on top. Well, I only have to do it a little bit. So see how it saves the whole room? So... Hope you like it, and uh, thank you for watching. Um, I'm Furby Furbs.